Haley, how's grad school going? Um, listen to this week's episode to find out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Melissa Joseph. I'm a certified speech language pathologist. And I'm Haley McCute, and I'm a certified speech language pathologist assistant. And we're the Pediatric, Pediatric Speech Pals. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome. Hope you're all doing well. So, today we are talking about Haley's grad program. What? what? Her online. Um, as promised, we said we'd kind of keep you guys in the loop, and we've gotten a lot of questions about it continuously. So, yeah. I think. Hopefully, we'll just kind of answer the, some of those questions and um, also just kind of update you on her program. Yay. So now that you have, now that you are like what? I'm in week nine. Week nine. <laughs> week nine, ladies week and nine. gents. Maybe by the time this comes out, it'll be a little bit later. But yeah. week nine. Week nine. I just finished midterms this week. <laughs> okay. How'd yeah. it go? Um. Well... I also started a new job, and <laughs> I also do other jobs, so it was kind of a lot. Busy week. Yeah, it was kind of a lot. The last two weeks were a little bit overwhelming, um, but I did get A's on them. So nice! a girl! That rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy about that. Um, it was, like, not terrible, if that makes sense. Like... It was a lot because we had midterms, but then also in the classes, I all like had to do my weekly quizzes and there was homework. Like nothing mm-hmm. stopped. It was mm-hmm. like still regular school. And then the on top of everything. Yeah, it was just like, oh, just this week we're going to have. And last week's we're going to do a midterm too. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because the way that Haley is set up right now, and I'm not really sure why it's like this, but she's like the leader of her grad school cohort oh, yeah, right I got, now i got voted as class rep but like because she voted as class rep everybody's sending her like their work and asking her to check over it which i'm like Haley, you don't have to do that like that's so much extra work like <laughs> I well i'd also need to learn to say no that's we, like we are so much extra that. work for her like that's so much extra work for you yeah it's definitely been a lot on top of grad school and a full-time job yeah i will say it was kind of a lot like and don't get me wrong. I think it's super – like being class rep is super awesome. Yeah, yeah. And I think that exactly. it, it'll benefit me a lot. Like I have – make good relationships with my professors and stuff like that. But so like even – like I was telling Melissa a couple – the last time we recorded, I was just like overwhelmed. I felt like I did therapy for like – I stepped away from my phone for a few hours to do work. Yeah. <laughs> to go to work and I came back and I had like over a hundred text messages hundred and I was just like oh my god and then we were sitting here and as I was complaining as I do more <laughs> people literally people are texting me and she's like well they literally do ask you for everything and I was just like I know it doesn't stop yeah so um, <laughs> um we're learning to if you were boundaries. like this this is our sign <laughs> to tell you to say no <laughs> to every say once in a while no. okay yeah say no yeah um so that's been a learning curve Trying to like, like for instance, like, and it's been, I guess, like I'm learning to say no, like for the class rep thing. Um, I just also feel like they should be doing their independent work. Like, well, yeah. if if they're getting it checked by you all the time, then they're not like, like you don't have that in the real world. Like, no, also not grad at all. school is like everybody work together, but it's not like everybody check my homework. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, like, oh, well, Haley will know. I just feel Haley like that's knows. not really. F- I feel like, mm, like I think maybe like it's been blurred lines of like what class rep is essentially. What, yeah. Excuse me. What this is, it was like a position for the program because it's an online program where um, you have like a student in the cohort. And if everyone has like a cumulative like issue, you know, like we're all oh. like. Like if you're like, oh, it's it's been a long time or it's been yeah. hard to do this assignment and this. Like you're yeah. supposed to go to the teacher. And yeah. Think. Instead of everyone emailing about the same exact thing or okay. like we all aren't having ac- – like aren't getting access to the thing or like for instance, we were doing our um, – we had to submit like our – sites for clinical practicums okay. like we had to submit where we would want to wow, go that's exciting i know it's not for like another term or two but you have to send it out now so mm-hmm. there was like a flow chart so instead of like everyone asking for the flow chart of like kind of figuring out how we need to go about it in our program i just will email like it's just yeah. one email instead of like <clears throat> A whole, well, it's like 20, but instead of everyone asking the same exact thing. Yeah. So things like that. I mean, that. that makes sense to have 
the rep like that. That makes yeah. sense. So that's what that job is. But then I don't know if like for some reason it's been don't like, oh, well, because Haley's like class rep. She also like just knows the answer to everything. Yeah. Or like will even check over. Yeah. Just look it over to make sure I'm doing it right. Or like asks when. Uh, just, and, but like, that also doesn't mean you're like the TA. No, definitely Which is not what they're kind of like yeah, the, using you as. And I maybe just like, you know, first term kinks of like, all right, people. And I, I don't know. I feel like if they get used to this, it's just going to be harder when you're like I know uh, well I, I kind of blow what you think she should do <laughs> <laughs> this week for like midterms everyone was like Haley ask them to push back the deadlines and I like just didn't really feel comfortable doing that because I was like yeah guys I like, just, we like, have to do it we have to certain, do yeah. it so like I just like didn't ask and I just like was like probably shame on me but I just like didn't follow up with the class and then someone else asked so I was like okay did they extend the deadline like one did one didn't like it was just like yeah. kind of like whatever it was just fine I just was kind of like this is meaningless like yeah that's i feel like individual bait like yeah case by case so anyways yeah it, people were like calling like you know like venting it's just like kind of been a lot but it's fine i think it's it'll mellow out after this term and i have to personally learn to set boundaries i think that is also something that is probably different given that you're an online program versus an in-person program yeah. because obviously if you're in person you go up to the teacher and you ask these questions um whereas now, because you aren't in person, you can't ask those questions like that. You yeah. have to have that designated rep, which I mean, honestly, I think would probably, well. And like, honestly, my fault too, because like I'm kind of neurotic, <laughs> which is funny. Yeah. My coaching job, I was like kind of stressed and they were like, oh, it's fine. Well, you're like the teacher's pet. <laughs> They're like, you give that vibe off. And I was like, do not I? <laughs> I was like, am I offended or flattered? Yeah. Either or. <laughs> I guess I'm neurotic and I have like a lot of communication with the professors more strictly because my life is so busy that I'm will get lost if it's not figured out. Yeah. So I kind of usually do know the answer. I kind of know where to go because yeah. I've already like, you know, Sunday or Sunday night, Monday morning, I'm like already have my questions being like, okay, I saw this week's what does this mean? What is this like? Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Just so that I can carry on through the week. So maybe people are catching on to that. <laughs> maybe. I mean, I think being organized and planning ahead can definitely help with yeah, you know, you being represented well, or, guess. you know, kind of voted the class of rep. But I just feel like that is kind of a line where it's crossed. It's like, you know, in grad school, you can't just – Yeah, you can't – I mean, honestly, you shouldn't even do that in undergrad. And I'm not, like, hating on them. I just think that's a lot of work for you to do. It's and also just, much. like, they should be doing their independent work. Yeah. I understand it's cohesive. Yeah. But, like – We all want to pass. We all want to do well. But, like, Melissa said to me – what? Maybe it was you, yeah. Where I was like so stressed about this. She's like, no, they don't want you to fail. Like that's that's not the yeah, purpose. That's like, not the and purpose. they will do whatever they can to like help you not fail. Yeah. And I was just like, oh. Because it is kind of stressful. Like for instance, like for the midterms. So you do have to maintain a certain GPA in – Grad school. school to stay in grad school. Well, also, I don't know if this is for every program, maybe. But like you also have to get a certain like uh, score on your midterm. So like in a lot of my classes, like – you couldn't get a below an 85 or an 80. And if you did, you had to retake Redo the, the test. Because mm -hmm. you have to get a, like, cumulative B, yes. B plus on, like, every Yeah, like, it was, basically. like, it doesn't count towards your grade, but you still have to retake it. And you have to have, like, yeah. a meeting with the teacher. And then they, they you know, they're like, oh, also, plan. yeah, it was a whole thing. And then, so that freaked me out before the test. Obviously, they tell you that because that's what's supposed to happen. Me, as a stressful test taker, I'm, like, that's probably my weakest, like, thing out of all my school schooling if you – subject it's not a subject but you know i think like, some people just aren't very good at taking tests i struggle very hard like it is very difficult for me i have never been it's like good. an anxiety thing it's like kind of yeah it's just like a whole accumulation of like a ton of things yeah. like i could know everything like the back of my hand and i sit there in front of the test and i will still not get a good grade like i just don't think tests reflect me as a student but anyway so that stressed me out knowing that that was a thing and then I was like calling Melissa. I'm like, oh my god! And she was just like, no, they don't want you to fail. Like, they will do everything they can to like make sure you pass because the goal here is to like get you into the field, like yeah. get you into the working field. The also, it kind of looks bad on the school if people are not passing. Like, yeah. if if it's like you know, because people will look, at, especially when they're applying, like, hey, does how many you know people pass this? Yeah. How many people graduate? Things like yes. that. And if it's like, oh well. 10 out of the 25 that are in here and didn't graduate, it's that like, oh, so good. Yeah, you like, know, like you want it to be a. Yeah. And they're not, the, the weed out process is over, you know? Exactly. Like we're all here trying to be this, like work of this, like in my program, like we're all trying to be in the same thing, you know, mm -hmm. like why not help each other? So that was reassuring too um, from Melissa. Um, so it was like fine. 
Um, I think like my biggest like thing that's been helping me with the online program is being extremely organized. Yeah. Like I really have to like every week, you know, make sure that I am like on top of like what each class's assignments are for the week and I like color cord like color code it so that I know like each class has this. Um I think that's been helpful. Helpful. And I think that's what's also been helpful for the rest of my cohort. Like I know one girl because she's already I guess she already is making it I like everyone does whatever they need to be organized. Like mine is I just have like a planner and I color code it and I handwrite everything. She makes like a spreadsheet every mm-hmm. week and she sends it to the cohort and stuff. And so I think that was like it's helpful. Especially for the online program. Like for instance, in one of my classes, I guess I don't – I definitely didn't miss it. I definitely took this test. Like, we oh, take, yeah. like, little quizzes. Every, like, we take quizzes in this one class. We have multiple quizzes. Anyways, well, I went to go back to study for the midterm, and I was, like, going over the quizzes again. And one of them, when I clicked on it, was, like, begin quiz. And I was, like, what? I'm, like, <laughs> I definitely have taken this quiz. Like, there, I know I've taken this quiz. So I emailed the professor being, like, did you just reopen the quizzes for the midterm? Blah, blah. And she was, like – no, it looks like you didn't t- take it. And I was like, I know I've taken it. Like, I know I have. And then, yeah, like, re it redid everything. So even though she did it, it made it look like she now hasn't done it, even though you did it again because you were so worried. You well, yes, did it so in like a again. minute. I did. You already exactly. done it. I already knew it. And I was yeah. like, oh my God. And then, so I told her, and she was like, well, maybe you didn't click submit. Like, sometimes that's happened before. Why don't I get up in a zero on the quiz, which dropped my grade? Yeah. She, well, okay. This yeah. is, I think this is, this is teacher, professor sort of specific yeah but like for sure i feel like that's pretty harsh you know, i was really sad but she was like don't worry i guess she doesn't really have like proof though like she, yeah she you know what i mean i mean there was no proof but yeah. i was like i know i've taken it i i but whatever and she said it's happened to other students too before that like i know, guess it's good to i guess it's good to learn that now oh like, yeah you know what and i mean like in the future well now i'm like for now sure. you're like submit yeah <laughs> now for sure yeah. we'll make sure but that's just another reason why i need to you need to stay organized yeah. to be like okay this is what's due this week. Yeah. Um, this is what's due that day. Okay, I have a group project for this. Let's do that. Oh, a video thing for this. So, Are there other things that you have found to be helpful that you think, like, s- say somebody is wanting to be, an on- like, thinking about an online school or choosing that? Like, are there other things that you have found to be helpful to make you a successful student? Um, well, I focus on one class at a time. So I think – and I think majority of that – like you finish all the homework for one class and then move on? Move on. And I think that's what's been really helpful for, I think, the rest of the class too. Like when we we have like a group meet, so like everyone kind of chats about everything. So if you kind of like bounce around, it's kind of – I don't want to say it's hard, but you'll forget about other things because each class has like lectures and readings and stuff. So then it's like, oh, I'm just going to watch the lecture for this and then go watch the lecture the next day. It's easier if you just like – one Stick day to that, one at one a time. Because essentially that's how it is in person too, you know. Like mm-hmm. you go to the class on that day and you just kind of do that one class on a day or you do the mm-hmm. two different classes on that day and then the next day you do the other class. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe that's why you have extra work too because – because I had said at my school, we didn't really have a ton of busy work. And Haley was kind of saying she kind of feels like ton. she has a ton of busy work. And I think maybe that's also another difference of being there and not there. Because, like, we did a lot of maybe yeah, you busy do work, what class. you would think in class, which is, like, now not busy work because you're applying it. But at the same time, like, you don't have to go home and now do it. Whereas you, instead yeah. of doing this class or assignment in class, you now have to do it yeah, like, as homework. True. Yeah, that's probably why. You're probably right. Yeah, it is kind of a lot of busy work, like, excuse me, um, like, just, like, a lot of, like, te- like little quizzes, and we have, like, a lot of these, like, questions, and some classes yeah. have, like, video stuff that you have to and do. And they probably have to do a little bit more, too, because they have to make sure you're learning this information. Yeah, well, okay, also, I didn't know. Okay, <laughs> One of my classes, I, like, never watch the, like, lecture videos. I just do all the readings. Like, I, I just figured, like, why why would I watch the YouTube that is, like, two hours long when I just can do the reading? And it was – it's been working fine for me. I do great on all the tests. I got an A on the midterm. Like, apparently, if you don't watch the things, like, it tells them. <laughs> Like, you have to watch the lectures because I got an email being, like, you are, like, below the, like, minimum needed of, like, watching lectures. Like, this is your, for, for like, fair warning like, before. And I was, like, oh, my God. <laughs> so that is <laughs> oh a thing, too. God. That's a thing. She was, like, it's totally fine because I emailed her being, like, oh, my God. Am I going to get a fail? And she was, like, yeah. no. Like, 
she was like, you just have like it's class. Like you have yeah. to watch like you yeah. have to watch it. And so I was like, okay. So now I do that. Um, which is fun. <laughs> yeah, now I do that. <laughs> um, That's so funny because I never in my life would would have not watched that. You would have always watched oh, it. Oh, absolutely. Oh, especially over the reading. I would have watched the lecture over the reading. Well, it makes no difference to me. They post the transcript of the thing that they talk oh, so about. You're reading the transcript. And I uh, and they post a, the PowerPoint that they used. So like why mm. would I yeah. not like I'm I think a- I'm I would have just like like I think as a learner that I am watching yeah. the person talk Wouldn't about it because then in my head I could be like oh remember when she was pointing to the board and what did it say on the board oh it said blah blah, blah. okay oh. like I, I've just kind of like visualize it better yeah. you're a visual mm-hmm. learner yeah see that makes no difference to me yeah like, it, like to be honest sometimes it trips me up because if it's something that I'm like oh I'm not really understanding then I'll go back like for instance for the for my neuro midterm um like the week and a half before on my car rides to work I just put the lectures on okay okay and I just yeah. listen to her talk I mean, and then that's smart. Yeah, so that's what I did for that, and then that's what I do with podcasts when I'm driving, like because I drive a lot in my car. Yeah, you, obviously in home, so I drive. I drive a lot, so I put a lot of like I put CDUs a, on, or, things, yes. or just like continuing education. Yeah. Sometimes it's just regular podcasts, but yeah. um, yeah. yeah. So I do that a lot. Um, so I did that. Smart. It kind of was helpful. I was like, yeah. well, I listen to podcasts every day, so I might as well make your downtime useful. Yeah, if I'm gonna sit here, I might as well listen. Yeah. Um, but sometimes like. They do things differently. Like, I guess I'm already in the field. So, like, like for instance, like, speech sound disorders, like, certain things, she, like, says it a little bit differently. It's not, like, relevant, but, like, you know, she's just a little bit different than I am, which is how therapists are. But in the in a learning environment, like, it's difficult for me. Like, I'm like, oh, kind of like – um, Because you already have in your head what you would do and then when you're learning that you are supposed to do it a certain way kind of thing? Mm more of like okay what is it like if what is it called for instance like if you like for instance cranial nerves i made like a thing a saying for all the oh, like uh-huh. what are those called a tool. mnemonic tool yeah, so yeah. like for you know like the cranial nerves one i made was like dirty i'm not gonna yeah, say yeah. it but it was like i mean honestly it doesn't really those things don't really matter as long as you can remember it well, and a no, lot of times like saying. the dirt like not to say like the dirtier the better but like sometimes when it's so dirty it's like appalling and you're like oh my god and then that's how you remember it well yeah so that's what i'm saying so like let's say i have one for like we did cranial nerves for neuro so i have one to remember like all the cranial nerves in the order like whatever the mnemonic tool that i use yeah in like for instance i'm relating this to like the lectures let's say the lecture teacher has a different mnemonic saying and she says it, then I'm like, oh my God. Then it kind of like trips me up because I'm like, wait, what uh, was you mine? Lose, you know, you yeah, like you're like, okay, don't tell me yours because mm-hmm. I already have mine. And now if you say yours, I'm going to think about yours and be like, oh, okay. So it's kind of like that type thing where it's like, you know, just in certain instances, not always, but like sometimes they say things and I'm like, oh no. And then I'm kind of like, wait, what was that? You know, wait, mm. oh no. So it kind of confuses me a little bit. Okay. So that's my lectures. Um, it's been fine. That's, um, it's, it's definitely been a curve. I would, it's a give, it's an ebbs and flows of like it being a lot and not a lot. Yeah. Um. And it's your first semester. Are you quarters or semester? Trimesters. Okay. So it's your first trimester. So that's always the hardest part too, because you're just like adjusting to this new way of Mm -hmm. life, this new, like, you know, school again everything is kind of such a new thing yeah that i think the first semester first trimester is always the hardest or yeah. and i i don't know about like hardest but just like hard like i don't know about hardest material kind of thing but yeah. like hardest yes. like because you have you know to your mean? whole life has changed adjusting like, yeah like instead of coming home from work and just like being done with the day like i yeah. come home and just do school until then yeah. um so i definitely like it's fine i think it's just like everything else um would you recommend it still to yeah. yeah 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 i think yeah for sure i i mean i'm working i work full time and have another job yeah. too and like i'm still being able to do school and i have i have straight a's right now so yeah. it's definitely doable i'm definitely being able to do it i'm not gonna say it's easy yeah. i sometimes would, would feel like it would be super easy to just not work and do this <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah. i need money so yeah. um i will say also it is so much different being in school and like comparative to like the work you know like i know things like how to do it in the field Mm -hmm. but then like trying to do it like in a school way like an educational way like making a paper about it i'm just like oh my god like we did a thing about apraxia and i 
Yeah, or just like in general. Theory versus in person kind of stuff. Kind of like more of like I have to or use like the terminology of the book and like what it is for that. And it's like I can't just be like, oh, well, you know, I'll use this approach when working yeah. with the kids with apraxia and like, blah, blah, blah. It's like kind of like it's just hard. I'm like, oh, oh, I know that, but I don't know how to, I don't know the terminology, yeah. like the correct terminology for I just do it, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So that's been different too. Like, Tests, tests to be kind of imposter syndrome a little bit yeah. <laughs> in my work, but um, it's been fine. Everyone's really helpful, though. Like the professors are super nice in the online program. They're super on top of it. They like email me within like the late. I think the wow. longest I've waited is an hour after an email. Um, they're always readily available. They definitely are on it of like your homework or things like like for instance like the like not watching the lectures like she literally was like immediately like it was like oh Haley, you're not doing that so it's like they definitely are monitoring everything so that's Good. cool yeah it's very nice to know um the residency was fun going there in person meeting my cohort was super cool yeah um it was nice to like meet the professors in person versus on zoom mm-hmm. um i will say we like don't have too many classes like uh, they call them synchronous classes. So like you have to be there in person at the same time. Mm. I think I've had like maybe five the whole time so far. Okay. Yeah. So that was one of our questions that we got was like, what is that like your schedule? So like you can do it obviously whenever. Yeah. But what is the schedule like for the synchronous classes? online or just like an online program? Like what, what is your, I mean your day again, it's it's hard. So this person was asking you what like the normal day of like an online program student kind of is. Okay. So like I guess just give us like your online day and know this can change. Obviously, yeah, you can do varies. the classes whenever, things like that, but just kind of like how my day works yeah. working full time. And maybe so. you can also there's another question of like what's the workload kind of like? So you can kind of like add that one in too of just like you know, how the workload was while you're doing your day, sort of stuff. Yeah. So okay. So I will say So my typical day is, like, I will get to work, like, an hour or an hour and a half. Okay, truthfully, I get there two hours early to do do work. Like, I go there and I do school. Like, I, like, um, go and it's nice because no one's in the office. It's quiet. And I just go there and I spend two hours in the morning of, like, getting homework done. And that kind of is a – I really – I'm a morning person, so I really like that. Um, I get a lot done and I'm – kind of already at work so like puts me in the work like mode um and then I'll do work all day and then I'll come home from work and then I'll I like I always am like done by eight o'clock like because I get into bed at eight o'clock but um so I'll come home around like six and then I do like I'll study or I'll do like more homework and then I mean I think maybe like I will not do any work after school like one day a week. Okay. And so what is it? Do you do like one class that yeah. day? So you watch a lecture. You well, do- yeah. In the mornings I'll watch a lecture while doing homework. So I have an iPad and a computer. So I like okay. have both. So like I'll put like my – I'll put the lecture on my iPad and then do like all – like do the homework. Okay. Because – Truthfully, the lecture does nothing for me, so okay. I'm literally just watching it to get the credit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever is, works like, for you. Fine. I yeah. mean, sorry if you're my professor and listening. <laughs> um, I just like to read your lectures better. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. I mean, uh, as long as you're getting the information. I, yes. And I keep telling myself, I'm like, well, my great shows. <laughs> I'm like, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Um. So that's what I kind of typically do, and I'll do a class at a time. So, and that's not saying that I'll finish the class in the day, like, you know, s- I'll do like I'll do the readings and then I'll get to like one assignment because some of them are like video assignments I can't even do them till I get home anyways okay um and then um and video assignment I've seen her do this before so video assignment she means kind of like it's almost like a little zoom and you record yourself and then you she ends it and it like sends it off immediately and you can only do it in one take right no oh you can do it a whole bunch but like, I mean, like you have to send like the one take. You can't like edit it. Or, oh, like, oh yeah. Pause or yeah. stop. You can just like send it off. Yeah, I think like Melissa was like, oh, this is like a when you give presentations, like the same. That's thing. what I think it is. Yeah, it's kind of like when you're um, 
instead of standing up in front with a present, you know, with a PowerPoint or whatever sort of thing you're using, it's like they kind of do it over this like I don't know what's that. It's called, called Flipgrid. Is Flipgrid. What they it's use. like a Zoomy kind of. Yeah, you just like make a video and then it goes into like this like page, and then you could yeah. see ev- you could see everyone in the classes, and then there's oh there's a lot of like discussion boards. Mm-hmm. in my program so like even in these videos so like for instance we post the video and then you have to like also comment on like two people's videos i did that a lot in undergrad did you mm-hmm. yeah so like i have to go and watch a video and i have to comment and like the comments can't be like nice job that was a great video you have to like Talk you about have the content yeah and then like you follow up with like oh in like you know in the book it also stayed in, like do resources and like i have to do sites with in my comment like it's kind of like a little mini essay yeah um and then we do a lot of discussion boards so it'll be like a topic and then like for instance for like neuro it'll give me like a case study they're kind of like case studies and then you just post what you think it is and then um they're really into um citing and citations um and again this is for Haley's uh just to preface this is for Haley's specific program specific program obviously you know, there are a lot of different ways that people yeah. do different programs, but we can't speak to those. So yes. we can only speak to the ones that we went to. Um, but this is how her program, yeah. online program is going. I feel like grad schools in general are big on like APA citation, like that type stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like they are. My program is like sticklers for it. I lose a lot of points for getting those citations wrong. And I'm telling you, I t- tried so hard to figure it out. And they're like, go to the writing center, figure it out or whatever. It's whatever. So they're big on that. So I have Why don't you do... Um, Oh, man. The Citation Maker APA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do. But, like, the in-text citation, there's just, like, a lot. I did watch a whole – I had to take a full class in the summer or whatever before the school started. It's probably hard, too, because you've been out of undergrad for a while, so yeah. you haven't, like – Because that stuff, I feel like, just transferred. You know what I mean? You're just kind of like, all right, just continue it. Whereas, like, yeah. you Well, like, there's just, like, remember. so many rules. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, my God. And I think they change pretty regularly, right? Yes. Maybe I'm wrong with that. But. I honestly don't know. And, like, cover pages, apparently I get them wrong every time. And I'm like, what is the cover page supposed to look like? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so – All the technical stuff. Yeah. There is, like, I think a lot more maybe a little bit technical things that would probably slide in person. Kind of – they're not really relevant. But because it's online, that's mm. basically the only thing that they have to, like, base you off of is what you submit. Mm-hmm. And my school is like really into like professionalism, like super in. Like when we, when I went to residency, like we had to dress up every day in like business, yeah. yeah, business professional attire. So like that is what they're really big on. Um, so Which is good. It's great. I am just not that professional. Yeah, I can look cute. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I agree with that. You think I? I mean, I yeah. just am not like. I that. think you probably think you're not like a, you know, walk in there kind of lawyer, you know, sort of ready for court professional. Yeah. But I think that you carry yourself very professionally. I think you are, you know, like yeah. when okay. it comes down to it, I think you're a professional person. Okay, thanks. That's you're nice welcome. of you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so. Um, yeah, so I think you covered a lot of the questions that we had just by answering um, some of those. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I guess overall that – is Haley's day to day? That's kind of the workload. Yeah. Um, how it, teachers teach, you know, yeah. the professors teach. Um, what some of extra assignments you? Yeah, they also have. post like in the, throughout the weekday, like post videos, being like, "Oh, I saw a lot of people were struggling with okay. this." Like, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah. "Hey, thought I'd pop on here real quick and like let you know." I've got like, it figured out. Yeah, like, "Hey, don't do this," or like they post like weekly announcements all the time. Yeah. Um. Well, good. I'm glad that you're, I mean. It's definitely suiting my lifestyle, like exactly what enjoy, I wanted. Yeah, enjoying the yeah the program, at, at least like with your life and how it works. Yes. And, you know, grad school is grad school. Every, everywhere you go is going to be. Um, different. Well, different, but also like school. Yeah. You know. It is school. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh. So. Um, After these tests, I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> I really wanted this. <laughs> <laughs> but you're doing it and it's going to be so great yes. and so worth it at the end and we make funny tiktoks because of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh yeah go follow us on tiktok yes um, um yeah so that was good i think that was a good episode if you have more questions um like i said i think Kaylee answered all the ones that we had here mm-hmm. um 
But if you have more questions, let us know. Um, we can kind of continue to do these if you like this sort of style. Yeah, let style. us know if you like us updating um, how it is. I'm sure things will change as we go. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, so that was this week's episode. And we hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you next week. Bye. Bye. If you are ever curious about where we got our research or want to learn more, refer to our YouTube description box where we will leave links to the resources we used. We'd like to thank our producer, David Martinez. If you want more speech tips, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on our Facebook page, follow us on our Instagram and TikTok at Pediatric Speech Pals. Lastly, if you have any questions or concerns, email us at pediatricspeechpals at gmail.com.